ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, Ethan has taken quite a bit of time and detailed the inside of this truck. It looks awesome. This is a rotator. Still got a lot to do, but we're uh, making progress. Anyway, on to the job at hand. We have a uh, trailer over in Illinois that has cut a corner too sharp and dropped the trailer in a ditch. So we're going to have to go lift and swing, I think. I uh, don't think there's any injuries at this point, but uh, as always, we ask for prayers, good thoughts, well wishes for all involved. Uh, I do know that one of the spring brake chambers is either hung or caught, uh, broken off, uncertain at this point. Uh, so we have to be cautious of those. They have uh, a very, very high tension spring, like 2000 PSI uh, on the emergency side spring. So. We got to watch out for that and don't know how much weight he's got on. So anyway, here we go. Oscar and I have already set up a Plan. Nope, that's good enough. Just make a loop with it. Can you get to it? Nemesis, damn it. I'll bring it to you. Just give me a second, I'll bring it to you. Now bring yours down, tie it in, and then I'll swing it over and get his. The only 
catch you, Oscar. We may want you to spin the hook around. I don't know. Let's see. Now nah, it'll. Is that an 8K? Six. Six? Okay. Weighs 23. What do you need? Huh? Let me put some tension on it. Got it? All right, I need to slow my speed down because I'm on. All right, watch out for that. Well, the spring's already come out, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to lift it like it is and then level it out. Machines unchained? Yes. No, it's not unchained. It's not? No. Okay. It looks like it is. Yeah. It, this is loose up here. You say it's loose in the street, level it out. Rolling. The, the whole carriage rolls. That way you don't have to rotate. You don't lose your arc. You get five foot out of it and then you then you start rotating. I wish they were all that easy. Normally you don't have a good place to hook up like that. Believe it or not, it still showed we were lifting about 30 back here, which was really shocking to me. I wouldn't have figured we'd been lifting that much back this far.
right. You want to try to put air to it and see? He said you got it. It's hard to believe. Yeah. Wait till the officer's done. That would have been nasty. I'm glad that thing lifts at low angles. Oh yeah, our traveling axle. Yeah, you can shorten the wheelbase on it. It's off. Okay, pull your hand valve down. Let's make sure that no air is leaking out the service side. Trailer brakes released, red valve in. Up, up, in. And it ain't rolling backwards? Okay, if he's okay with it, try rolling forwards with it. Trailer brakes are locked. Trailer brakes are locked. Lock everything down. Lock everything down, please. Let me get my wheel chokes. If you need me to pull in here, I can. He's gonna be a few minutes here. If not, I'll just sit right on mat. Yeah, I can get off the road at this point if you need me. He's going to be there for, for a bit. I can scoot over a little bit, though. I can back up and I can scoot over this way. I'll be right back.
work better for you? Do what? No, but we can kill the air to that chamber if that's what's going on. Well, I'm thinking because it knocked it all the way off. There's nothing unset the brake. Yeah, but it acted like all brakes were locked, not just the one. Ah, oh boy, that's hard to say. So, doesn't, so that spring pushes down on that rubber piece, which releases the brakes, right? Yeah, right now the brakes should be uh, free rolling. Uh, that slack adjuster there anyway, on this one, mm -hmm. you should be able to move it by hand because it's not connected to anything now. Yeah. That push rod's broke and everything else. Um, the emergency airline, we had, uh, we need zip ties or something to lock that up. Because this, this brake right here, that brake right there should be able to push that back. And then, let's see. Okay. This line right here, we need to crimp off or cap off. Either one. We can pull this completely off. All right, I'll go get uh, I'll go get a wrench pack and uh, my fitting pack. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Get that. Hopefully, we can cap that off. You, but you didn't hear any air leaking? No. The only time I heard it, air leaks when you set the brake. That's almost, weird. It's almost like it. Uh, well, I wonder it if was acting like a truck. Went, went, went to pull. Well, yeah, the trailer brakes were set. The trailer brakes were not moving. No. Uh, the trailer wheels were not moving. Do you think the tractor protection on that? I, that's a good question, Oscar. I don't know. What is it? Tractor protection may have screwed up. You get started? Now, the only way to tell is give me uh, push your red valve in. Let's see if we get air out of this. Okay. All right, let me give him a wrench pack. Hold on. Red valve pushed in. Yep. Hand valve pulled down. Pull it up, push it up. It what in the world? See, it automatically goes up. Red valve's in. Can we try to back it up just there? Yeah, not too much, because my truck's right there. There you go. It rolled backwards a little bit. You're... Here, keep it, keep it running and keep the red air pushed in. Keep the yellow air popped out. We want the tractor brakes set. Transport. Now make sure we got. Wonder if it crushed a lion under there. 
tracks up here. It would have had to have been up here further though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. It's building. It's building. It's, building. it's just going to take it a minute. Take it's it. got to build all the air back up in the tank uh, and in the uh, <laughs> airbags. Yeah, just let's just let it sit here for a minute, do its thing, and you should be good. I didn't even think about that. It drained all the. Yeah, it drained everything. It's got to refill all of it. Dragging the back. Yep. Yeah. Well, this, yeah, this one's free rolling after you got all that knocked loose, but everything else, the parking brakes are still attached or still applied. Come on, baby. The only other option is to cage down or go on things, which I can do it. I've got the stuff to do it with. Is it what? Cage the parking brake chambers. What's that? Pull them back and uh, pull it that it's released? Pretty much. Yeah. You would still have service brakes, but you wouldn't have parking brake on the trailer. Oh. It's starting to come up. It's off my finger now. It's coming up slow, but it's coming. That's the only thing I think about is with the airbag pulled up, I wonder if it still go on. Yep. I'm gonna say it just needs more air in the system. Here's air now. Wait. Let me look at the chambers and see what they look like. Oh, you can't see anything from back here because the dock levelers. It's got air in it. What'd you say? Said the bags have got air in them. Try it now and see what happens. Come on, baby. Roll with it. Yep, there we go. That's all we needed. There you go. Roll out. Yeah. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. Appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate you guys. Do what? We appreciate you guys. Oh, no problem. That's what we do. <laughs> this is what we do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, nobody hurt. Just a little bit of pride, maybe, but. Nobody injured, which is a good thing, especially with those high voltage lines right there and right by a softball field or baseball field. It could have gotten ugly quick, but it didn't. All right, so we're gonna head out. As always, thank you for watching and God bless.
Need anything else from us, guys? No, I don't think so. No business yeah. card or nothing from us? No. Okay. We just appreciate right. you coming out here. Yeah. You guys yeah. are actually from Scott City Scott. then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You that's, got, you, that's you all. got scooted from there then. Do what? You guys got here pretty quick from there then. I drove the speed limit. <laughs> I no, did. Like, I appreciate it. Yeah. And we don't, when they tell us the road's blocked, we don't let the grass grow. Yeah. We get moving. We, we appreciate it. Yes, yeah, very much so. Well, I've got some business cards in there if you want some. I know, I know we're from Missouri and you're from Illinois, but <laughs> if you ever run into an issue and you need some help, we'll be glad to help.